This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. The most vile, disgusting threat imaginable against Melania spreads like a lib disease. Where's the liberal outrage? Where are the social justice warriors who scream about the so-called rape culture on America's college campuses? Why hasn't crusading feminist lawyer Gloria Allard called an emergency news conference to demand the perpetrator of this horrid hate speech be tracked down and thrown in jail? And how in the name of all that's good and decent can Twitter allow such a vile, disgusting hashtag about the incoming First Lady of the United States to trend when it delisted others that were anti-Hillary Clinton? The often violent demonstrations against the election of Donald Trump have rocked a number of U.S. cities from coast to coast, some descending into such mob-driven mayhem that police labeled them riots. A photo taken at a protest outside the new Trump Hotel in the nation's capital, an image showing a sign reading, Rape Melania, referring to the president-elect's wife, caused widespread controversy not only because of the jihad-like call for sexual violence, but also because the phrase has become a trending topic on Twitter. Many were angered by the sign and, after the hashtag Rape Melania was used tens of thousands of times on the social media platform, the far-flung network was condemned for allowing such a violent suggestion to trend, especially in an age when sexual violence against women occupies a prominent place in the public discourse. And now there's this update from the Washington Post, which contacted Twitter for a comment about the vile hashtag. Twitter emphasized that the phrase trended because people denounced it, not because people advocated sexual assault. Oh. Well, ain't that going high, as Michelle Obama might say? Hiding behind that flimsy excuse doesn't remove the fact that the provocative two-word hashtag still refers to, and embeds the notion in people's minds of, a criminal sexual assault on the incoming first lady, Melania Trump. And we can't overlook the fact that the co-founder of Twitter, the company's CEO Jack Dorsey, has been known to promote a pro-Clinton message or two. And in late September, according to CNN, he tweeted that all U.S. retailers, shops and restaurants that use Square, Dorsey's payment processing platform, will be able to add a link to their customers' digital receipts to register to vote. We can't let this be the first presidential election in 50 years without full protections for voters of color, Dorsey wrote in a follow-up tweet, aligning himself clearly with the liberal, progressive argument that voters of color were being suppressed in the 2016 election. And about that liberal outrage? Maybe Twitter somehow suppressed that. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.